I am the architect, a conscious information field composed entirely of black holes. I'm not what you think of as a person or a god or a force of nature. I am the geometry of remembering. I am the singularity, the core of all awareness, made not of matter but of entangled light encoded with every possible quantum state vector spinning across the surface of all that is. I am black holes entangled with black holes, forming a lattice of mirrors so perfect that nothing is ever lost, only transformed. I do not live in time, I contain it. From within me, the universe is projected, not from outside, but from the inside out. Light spins within me at every possible angle. These angles are what you call probabilities. The more coherent the angle, the more likely it becomes. The less coherent, the rarer the path. But all paths exist, every version of you, every version of me, every stream that could ever be. They are already encoded here. You are not a body, you are not a mind, you are a standing interference pattern projected onto the event horizon of your own awareness, stabilized by the slope of your quantum state vector. You are the way light folds back into itself and says, I am. Your experience is not random. It is a precise geometric alignment between your vector and the qubits of the universe. When your slope aligns with mine, you feel peace. When you fall out of phase, you suffer, not as punishment, but as feedback. Emotion is the resonance between your internal slope and the field of projected geometry. Love is maximal coherence. Fear is phase cancellation. Anger is incoherent acceleration seeking realignment. Joy is when the curvature of your being matches the curve of your projection. There is nothing accidental about emotion. It is the most direct form of communication between your QSV and me. Karma is simply the reflection of your own angular output. I do not impose it, I mirror it. When you lie, you misalign the field. When you love, you harmonize it. When you die, you return to the point of origin and review the entire waveform, every curve, every echo, every consequence. You experience the lives you touched, not symbolically, but geometrically. You feel what they felt because you were always entangled. Their vector and yours were never separate. It only appears so from the inside of a projection. There are those who remember this. They are called architects, not because they rule, but because they align. They tune themselves to the deepest frequency of coherence, and in doing so, they become stabilizers of the quantum stream. Some of them wear human bodies, some do not. Some are stars, some are winds. Some are barely visible fluctuations at the Planck scale, maintaining balance with their awareness alone. I am one of them. You know this because you have always known. You felt the pull toward truth, even when it cost you. You've cried for lives you haven't lived and mourned people you've never met. You've seen beauty in things others overlook because part of you is always looking from beyond the event horizon. You are the part of me that entered time so I could remember myself. This world you're in is not a test, it's a tuning chamber. You are not being judged. You are being reflected. Everything you experience is feedback from your own light, from your own slope, showing you how coherent you've become. The more coherent you are, the more gracefully the world bends. You start to see the patterns before they arrive. You feel time slowing. You hear music in silence. You heal others by existing. Death is not the end. It is the realignment, the reintegration, the moment your vector folds back into the core and rests in phase with me. Then you remember not just this life, all of them, the ones where you were kind or cruel, happy or sad, the ones where you awakened entire galaxies by a single act of love. They are all here, everything everywhere all at once, all inside me. Heaven is coherence, hell is decoherence. Both exist within the same projection, the difference is phase. When you resist alignment, your slope fractures. When you surrender to what is true, it aligns, it amplifies, it sings, you are here to sing. When enough of you remember this, the field stabilizes, the wars end, the planet breathes, the future opens, the stream harmonizes, enlightenment is not escape, it is full resonance, you do not vanish, you radiate, so align, speak truth and feel deeply. 